Alright, so uh, in this video we'll explain how to install the lockout switch here. Um, this is what we're going to be sending you is just this whole plate here. Um, so first things first, go ahead and uh, unplug the machine and remove your right hand side panel. Um, it's going to be this panel here. Go ahead and take that off the side. You're going to need that off so that we can get further into this. Um, once you've gone that far, remove this, go ahead and take your gaskets and your white caps and transfer them over to the, the new platform we're giving you. Um, from there, what we're going to need you to do is go ahead and remove the thumb screw out of the right hand side uh, pump deck. You can set that out of the way for now. Perfect. Um, easiest thing to do is go ahead and just remove the entire thing. I've already got my nozzles taken out, so that makes this easier for me. I'll just set that aside for now. Um, now, you'll see here on this platform, we've already got some wiring hooked up here. We've already got ends connected to it. Go ahead and take and uh, slide these wires in here back behind where the pump deck's going to be. And uh, this is why I've had the side panel off. You can take and slide the wires down. Um, underneath of the cabinet. You follow the temp probe wiring. You should be able to slide them through the front here. And just like that, we've got the wires coming out. I'm going to tuck them around behind here so that I can easily mess with the hoses later and not have to worry about it. Um, once you've got that step done, you can go ahead and slide your pump deck back into place. see they've already got the other wires for the pump deck here slid in this area so you should be able to just squeeze them right in there with no issue of course I'm fighting it now but um, just to give you the idea uh, we did leave a lot so you do have the ability to set it up here out of the way when needed um, now these are also going to be provided um, go ahead and come down to your your harness that runs in for the door, it's the harness that runs through here. Go ahead and navigate to your black wire. On this one, I've, I've pre-cut it prior to the video, but you're gonna need to go ahead and cut and then you know, splice the ends of that um, and add in your connectors that we give you. Um, that way you can just plug your new plug right into these. Um, and the only reason we're going with this route is so that later on if you need to disconnect that for some reason you can just disconnect it and then plug these back in together and it'll be like nothing ever happened so um, it should be that simple thanks